Hello everyone, we now need to talk about parallel lines. Parallel lines are like railway lines. They don't have to have the same length, but they are always the same distance apart. Okay, so they can look like this. See, they don't have to have the same length. They can have the same length, but they must be parallel. Always the same distance apart. How would you know if lines are parallel? They will show you by using those arrows. So there's some really interesting stuff that happens when you have parallel lines. For example, if we do these parallel lines like this, if I then draw a line going through, then would you agree with me that this angle here, can you see how open it is, will be the same as that one over there. It's also open by the same amount. Now I want to see what shape that is. So if I do this, there we go, we can see almost a F. See if I do this, that's an upside down F. This one here will be the same as this one over here. Now what shape is that? Well, that's going to form a Z. Okay, so let's keep that in mind, a Z. Now if this one's 70 and we said that this one over here is the same because of the F, then if we look at this point over here, that is a straight line, so that means that this angle these two angles must be 180, which means that this one is 110. So then something interesting that happens is that this angle plus this angle will always add up to 180. Now what shape are those ones forming? Well, they forming a U. So we've got something like that. So these are the types of shapes you need to look for. You need to look for a shape with an F, a shape with a U, and a shape with a Z or an N. And so always remember, when you're dealing with parallel lines, they are fun. Okay? So if you can remember these three things, you are good. So those lines over there would be parallel, those lines must be parallel, and those lines must be parallel. So then these angles are always equal. These two over here always add up to 180. They are not equal. But then these ones are always going to be equal to each other. The F is called corresponding. In a test you can't say because of the F. You say corresponding. The U is called co -in -teria. And then the N or the Z is called alternating. Alright, so if I look at this diagram over here, I've got two parallel lines. How do I know that? Because of these arrows. I want to know what X is and I want to know whether it's the U, the F or the Z or the N. The Z and the N can be, the Z can look like that or it can be an N. So what we do is if we do this, oh we can see that it's a Z. So we know that angles in a Z are the same so X would equal 45. If I look at this one now, this angle is 120 so what will this one be? Well the shape that these two are forming is the U. And remember, oh, and these two should be parallel. If you have a U, then they're not the same, but they do add up to 180. So X would equal to 180 minus 120. And so X will be 60 degrees. All right, now if this is 30 degrees, I want to know how much is, or how much this one is. So we need to look at the shape that they are forming. So if we do this, there we've got our F. And so this angle for the Fs, they're the same. So this will also be 30 degrees and that's because of the F. Alright, so here's we're going to look for X and for Y. Oh, I must say that these lines are parallel. Okay, so if we look at the X and the 60, well that shape is an F. So X would be 60. I'm not worrying about the reasons just yet, I'm just getting you guys into the hang of this or into the swing of things. If I look at the 70 and the Y and I form the shape, that's a Z. So Y would be 70. Okay, so here we need to find X, Y, and Z. So for the X one, we can see that this shape here is a F. So X would be 60. If we look at the next one, the Y and the 100, well, that shape there is a U. So remember with a U, they don't add up, I mean, they don't equal each other, but they rather add up to 180. So this one would have to be 80 degrees. And then if we look at the last one, we've got a Z. And so the Z's are equal, so this is 120. Okay, so here's another one. So with the 70 and the X, if we form the shape, that's a Z. 
It's a bit of a backward Z, but it is a Z shape. As long as it does something like this, or like this, like that, like that, it doesn't matter. So that means the X will be 70 degrees. If I look at the shape that is being formed over here, that is an F, and so Y will be 30 degrees. And here's the last one. So if we look at the 30 and the X, that is a Z. And so X is 30. If I look at the Y and the 100, ah, that's also a Z. And so Y is 100. And so there we have it, guys, a small little introduction to parallel lines. If you have parallel lines, please remember the Fs, the Us, and the Ns.